Hey, it is Andy with the Fence Post Indie Music and Vinyl Blog. I am not particularly a religious person. That doesn't mean there aren't other forces at work. The longer I'm on this planet, the more I believe there's maybe a hidden cosmic element that helps guide us through time and space. Counter forces, good versus evil, happy versus sad, etc., live on a spectrum as most things do, to be honest, and they impact you differently based on your immediate current reality. Where you place yourself in the yin and yang sphere at that particular moment in time, yes, a typically conscious choice, though not always, and the influences you draw upon from your past, the light or darkness from those experiences, and your overall outlook and mindset on an immediate path forward. What does this have to do with Magic Songs, the 2018 LP from Jeff the Brotherhood? Before I jump into that, let's take a look at my pressing on vinyl and unpack the different variations available on the market today. As of 2023, January of 2023 at that, according to Discogs, there are three different versions of this release. One CD and two vinyl variants. The first vinyl variant is on pink wax, which pulls in colors, as you can see from the cover, and it's limited to just 1,000 copies. The first 100 ordered from the band's website included an unreleased CD titled Live Gig at Fort Houston 51218 Nashville, Tennessee. This is not one of those copies. In fact, this isn't even one of the pink vinyl versions. It is, as I alluded to, the other version, which is the standard generic black vinyl version. It does come with that pink OBI strip that mimics the hyped up Japanese OBI strip, despite it being a US pressing on Infinity Cat Records, which is Jeff the Brotherhood's longtime label. It's also a split LP with Dine Alone Records out of Canada. I love that the back of the strip plugs other albums from the band. I love the cover, which mirrors, in a sense, some of what I talked about in the opening and what I'll dive into a little bit shortly. To me, it symbolizes this deep inner universe that lives within each of our minds and how reality is kind of what we make it. To me, these three faces represent the masks we put on and wear day in and day out. This is really one of my favorite pieces of album art. The album itself is pressed to two discs, which makes the gatefold sleeve warranted. On the inside, you'll find all of the lyrics, as well as a few photos of the band and recording space and so forth. Now that the unboxing is done, let's talk about the album and my experience with it. After a particularly trying mid-year 2018, which saw a swirl of emotionally trying activity burgeoned by a complete lack of time taken for this introvert to recharge, I, I sat down with a friend for an afternoon of vinyl records. The plan was this. She was gonna come over, we were gonna put a couple pillows on the floor, lay down on the hardwood floor, and stare at the ceiling have some music play, and just take it all in. When the day came, I chose the newly released Magic Songs by Jeff the Brotherhood. I had just gotten it, and to that point, I had not really given it a listen at all. And for the 30 minutes or so of the A side and B side, an intense calm kind of washed over me, though the turmoil that had been going on somewhat unknowingly buzzing through my head my subconscious, all of that kind of stuff. It just kind of floated to the surface and drifted away. I just was breathing slow and steady. It was very, very meditative, incredibly peaceful. This was kind of the beginning of a self-inflicted dive down a rabbit hole of self-exploration and personal growth. The end goal was just really greater self-awareness and to be honest, it's a journey that continues to this day. I have revisited this album a few times since that quite transcendental experience. And as 
focus on the magic inevitably finds its conclusion and the beginning of Camel Swallowed Whole kicks into gear, I, I almost always feel myself getting a little emotional. The memory of the cosmic elements that brought me to this album on that particular sunny Monday afternoon helped draw me out from a crashing mountain of exhaustion, inner turmoil, and it produces this kind of similar peacefulness, albeit not quite as monumental. Magic Songs is so fundamentally different from so many of the other releases that Jeff the Brotherhood had created, especially up to that point, that it kind of has to stand on its own. It's, it's borderline a different band entirely. Jeff the Brotherhood employs elements of psychedelic rock. You can definitely hear hints of space rock, an influence that they selectively draw upon. Think more of a mellow rendition of their global chakra rhythms from 2015. But there are also deep traces of prog and jazz that haven't really been heard in their music prior to this. Select so songs like Singing Garden, uh, Relish, they, they act as almost like interludes, strictly instrumental, mellow, melodic. Close your eyes and you'll be whisked away into a meditative state and transported throughout the universe. You'll be hanging suspended in this peaceful darkness. It's kind of like an audible rendition of a float tank. Now, I love Jeff the Brotherhood, but Magic Songs is something else entirely. Despite lacking many of those kind of catchy hooks from past songs like Black Cherry Pie, uh, Heavy Days, or Hey Friend, it holds even more power than previous releases simply for its ability to elevate you to another plane of existence. Don't get me wrong, there are plenty of catchy hooks, just not as all-encompassing throughout the album. They're peppered into songs like Camel Swallowed Whole, uh, Parachute, and to an extent, Mother. Each time I put this record on, I keep circling back to that one Monday, almost five years ago. The overarching experience, the intense wave of calm that washed over me, it's, it's all something that I will remember for a very long time to come. It's rare to have such a powerful music experience but not entirely uncommon. Not all music has the power to do that. Sometimes it's the song itself, sometimes it's a frame of mind, sometimes it's just the right place, the right time, the right song. In this case, it was a little bit of everything with Jeff the Brotherhood's magic songs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.